girl when i tell you it's hot it is smoking hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i am tanda satana if you are new here welcome welcome back to another edition of willow wednesday so today we're discussing something that i just feel like the girls aren't getting enough of the girls aren't getting enough of and i just want to emphasize how to get organized and i just wanted to really share some tips and hopefully you guys can give me some tips as well down in the comments of just things that you do to help yourself get organized help yourself get tasks done we all feel like 2023 is the year for self-development glowing and growing and all of the good stuff but we can't really get there without um, a set routine and being well organized so i have just been like dumped into this realm of just everything new and i have to figure everything out and if i am not organized a lot can go wrong and i could disappoint a lot of people so i have learned and i have found some good coping mechanisms um healthy coping mechanisms that keep me well organized i'm um, during the season and i really hope to share them with you and hopefully you can use them in work i know a lot of yours are in school as well so hopefully you guys can use them in school as well and this just kind of get ahead of your tasks the first thing i want to say and it's so obvious everybody knows this but girl you have to write it down please write it down and when i say everything i mean everything i like to have a to-do book this is kind of like my to-do book i got it from typo most of the things you're about to see here are from typo i'm obsessed with typo so this is like kind of my to-do book and whatever i have um to get done i'll just put it right here and i will always ask when does this need by or i will check my calendars and check um when um things are due and just kind of like put everything in this place and from that to-do list i'll put down the date the dates and the times or when it's scheduled for next to it and then from then onwards i will write it down in my diary again from tybo look at her she's so pretty i will write it down in my diary over here I'll give it a sit time and I'll break it down. And the nice thing about these um, diaries is that it, they have the month, the calendar month here. So I will put everything down right there. So you have to write it down, whether it be it in your notes, whether it be um, on a piece of paper, somewhere. And if you're not a type of person that doesn't fill a journal, don't get a journal. Just get a piece of paper, sticky notes, stick them where you can see them. And hopefully that will um, remind you and keep you well organized. Girl, it is hot. It is hot. And I switched off the fan in here because I don't want it to mess up with the audio of the video. My boobs are sweaty. <laughs> the next step that I want to share with you guys is automate your life. What I mean about automate your life, it means um, just kind of taking away the thinking from everything, right? You know when you go on your phone, when you press this button, this is going to pop up. When you press this button, this is going to pop up. So for example, um, I um, like to have a packed lunch at work. So whenever I go to work, the day before uh, or the night before I have to wake up and go to work, I will pack my lunch. So in the morning, all I'm doing is opening the fridge, getting my lunch and walking out the door. Automated. So you have to put processes in your life that just kind of streamline everything make everything smooth i learned that from renee kapuku um she the her newsletter bi-weekly newsletter yeah um yeah i'm i'm that big of a fan of to my sisters it really helps to just kind of automate your life and take away the thinking of it setting your different focuses on your phone for example my phone will automatically go into work mode kind of dnd &D, as soon as i get into my work location so once my gps senses that i'm at work my phone automatically goes into DD. so only work um, notifications will come through only work calls will come through during that time and obviously for my family just in case of emergencies as well so automate your life take away the thinking from everything it also helps take away the distractions from everything as well the next point that i want to discuss is to allow yourself to pivot during this time you have to understand that things are not always going to go in your way no matter how how organized you are no matter how to the t you might have been you might have placed everything here you might have been like super super organized but life happens and things just happen what could go wrong like 
most of the time will go wrong so you have to learn how to pivot one thing that i found is especially in the type of work that i do a lot of things change and like things go haywire a lot um even um in my own personal life check people change plans one day you're having lunch with a friend and they might cancel so you might have to pivot what you do when you pivot is first of all calm down it's not the end of the world and second of all um just kind of schedule something else and what else can you do in that time frame that you can do now and it'll make your it'll make future you happier your future you will basically thank you for getting it done that's just a disclaimer chair no matter how organized you are life's gonna happen and things will need to change sometimes you just have to learn how to pivot and adapt to that 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 is what makes a person i think resilient in any situation just be able to adapt and kind of roll with the punches as well the next point that i want to bring in is when what's going on do you see why i need my own filming area Cause this is not gonna work oh wow wow the next thing that i've like i've started doing um especially when i put things down and write it write things down is i will time block so basically time blocking is um let's say you work from eight in the morning well nine in the morning up until three in the afternoon so i know from nine to ten i'm doing admin i'm looking at my emails i'm responding to my emails from 10 to 12 i'm doing i don't know um some more administration i have to file things um put things away and i am setting up um, meetings for the next day um from 12 to 1 i'm preparing for a meeting that's coming up soon and then from 1 to 2 i'm just kind of prepping for the next day that's time blocking it's basically designating a, a certain blocks of time during your day to certain tasks and then from that task you're going to break it down okay from 9 to 10 i'm obviously responding to emails so from 9 to um half past nine i'm checking spam and i'm getting rid of spam and then from half past nine till ten i'm actually taking down notes of um things that are important in those emails i am responding to some important emails i'm actioning some emails and then the next block is administration so you know you're gonna file you're gonna um tag documents you're gonna um scan and copy documents that's what time blocking is it's a block of time is looking at a bigger task and then creating subtasks underneath that it's been helping me a lot to time block because i will kind of put my focus on one specific thing where there might be content creation i know from 11 until that i'm filming a reel and then from um 12 until 1 i'm editing that reel and then from um 1 till 4 i'm filming for youtube so it's really helpful to kind of time block it kind of focuses your mind on specific tasks and um, you can create some tasks from that onward my next point is ask for help and learn to delegate a lot of the time i find that i just want to do everything on my own and just kind of get it sorted and get it done on my own it's never a good idea some things are just too big for me to do on my own so i need to ask for help and you kind of delegate um things um to certain people or um i know sometimes i need help with poopo and kind of taking care of him when i know i've got work so i'll ask my little sister to help him with um, making his breakfast or dinner most of the time she does it sometimes she just doesn't want to do it so yeah <laughs> you have to learn how to delegate the tricky thing about delegation is obviously you need to trust that person and understand that they'll get that work done i want to know that you're getting work done and you're getting it done well and the only person that i know is going to get it done the way it needs to be done is me but you can't overwork yourself you can't put yourself in tricky situations and bite more than you can chew because that's just going to just um, create even more disappointment so learn how to delegate this tip goes especially for those group projects i know it can be easy just to kind of like take everything onto yourself and just kind of do it on your own that's what that's not what group projects are for and if a person i just i'm putting it out there i feel like you guys don't use the resources that are out there if a person is not catching like is not pulling their weight during group projects you have every right to tell the teacher and email them beforehand and let them know that this is what you've done and this is what the person is supposed to do and they haven't done it what should you do from that point onwards and allow the powers that be to intervene i have personally have never I've done a group project ever i've never had to do a group project as you all know i studied through correspondence so i don't do group projects at all everything is on me but i'm just saying y'all 2023 
I see a lot of y'all going through it because of these group projects. I don't want to see my homegirls go through it because of these people that put, don't pull their weight during group projects, okay? Thank you. With that being said, learn how to delegate. It will help you keep yourself organized. Check up on that person. Do not micromanage. Check up on that person. Help them when they need some help. And then maybe um, they could do a little bit of the task and then you can pick up um, the rest and carry on from then onward. The next thing I want to talk about is rewarding yourself. What I like to do um, in my diary whenever I complete a task or I complete a task on time, what have you? What I will do is put like a little star right there. I'll put like a little star. I'll put like a little star and like highlight it and say, well done. And run a note to myself and reward myself. Even if I go like for Starbucks and I'll get like a venti caramel macchiato and a venti. Um, I will reward myself and I will celebrate myself. And I'll be like, when I'm finished talking, I'll be like, oh, look at that. You're so smart. You're so smart. You're so smart. You're so smart. So reward yourself and make sure that you give yourself the credit for the task that you've completed. Because how do you want to stay more organized? How are you going to keep up um, with yourself if you don't reward yourself? Say thank you. Thank you, me, for getting that thing done, getting it done well, period. The next thing I want to say is schedule in fun. I will literally go in my diary and I'll put in dinner with the girls, pool day with the girls um i don't know solo date i'll put it in there so whenever i open my diary and i look at my calendar or look at my weekly schedule i'm looking and i'm thinking to myself yes we're gonna work hard so that when this time comes i could just rest and i could just do it and i can just have fun and not think about anything else so schedule and fun like you would write down your other task write that down and put it there i trust me it'll help you um just want to be even more organized just want to stick to the plan stick to your to do scratch things out of off of your to-do list and get it done because you're looking at that and you think it to yourself hey when that time comes i just want to rest i don't want to think about any work i don't want to think about any school so that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to work and then when that time comes i'm lit we up okay so schedule and fun for yourself make it so that you actually want to get tasks done you know we like rewards we need to reward ourselves first my next and final point is rest rest is a command yesterday i had plans to work and get a lot of things done Unfortunately, I started my period, so I was just done and the cramps were killing me and I just couldn't do anything. And I always feel so frustrated with myself when I can't get tasks done because it is so important that I complete my work. Anyways, long story short, I'm doing that today and I've actually done quite a bit and I'm so proud of myself. Like I'm looking at my, my to-do, I'm scratching things out. I'm like, ah, it's already in time. You got this done, you got this done, you got this done, girl. Look at you, you know what I'm saying? You need to schedule in some rest. Uh, because if you don't schedule it in, your body will take it upon itself to rest. And that happens, it ain't cute. Trust me, I do that a lot to myself. I'm still learning, I'm still learning. But yeah, you need to be more intentional about that. So that the next day when you wake up, you wake up and you're like, okay, what's up today? Let's try to get organized. Let's time block. Let's look at this. Let's look at that. Let's prep for this. And you're ready to go. That is all for me. I really hope this kind of helped and gave you some new insights and some new um, tips that you guys can pick up and just kind of put in your routines and help you to get more organized during the season. Of course, we all have those vision boards. We all have these goals that we want to complete, but we can't really do that if we don't get organized, to be honest, because everything is everywhere. And where are we going? We need some clear guidelines and some direction during the season to help us finish this year strong. Like, not to put pressure on y'all guys, but we're grafting, okay? We're always at the job. It's gonna be a lacquer, yeah. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a lacquer, yeah, for the us. All the us is working. All the us is working well. I was just welding on the other side. I was recording. I was just driving. All the hours is working. We all, we all, whatever the, whatever your job is, we're always there. We're always at the job. We're working. We're resting. We're rewarding ourselves, and we're getting organized this year. So, if you have any tips that you want to share with us down in the comments, please feel free um, to comment and let us know what you have been doing to keep yourself organized. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video and I will see you guys in my next video.